we have to have a very serious, very serious discussion. It's come to my attention that people believe that I am not a charitable person. That's shocking. I don't know where they get it from. I've recently been described as someone who is narcissistic, self-centered to the point of disillusion, always scheming, and a general douchebag. Some people have even gone so far to say that I have no soul. Elizabeth, you're a bitch. This puts me in a category of people such as Regina George, Ari Gold, and fucking Michelle Bachman. However, in an effort to combat these generalizations and stereotypes that have been made from people viewing my Facebook and Twitter, and my fake Twitter account called Poser Socialite, I made a charitable donation to Equality California. During my weekly shopping binge last week, a very attractive male began fighting for my attention. What I assumed to be an attempt at a courtship turned into a plea for money, and in this recession, I'm usually not willing to give. However, after being mesmerized by his dreamy eyes, I attempted to woo him by donating, but only because he would be forced to take my number. And I'm still waiting for his phone call. Alright, we have no cards this week because we think it'll make us smarter and more professional. So, um, our first topic of conversation is... The designer brand Rock and Republic, which happened to be one of my favorite designer brands, recently filed for bankruptcy, which is shocking since we're in a recession and they sell jeans for $200. Um, so in an attempt to stay relevant, the department store Kohl's has purchased Rock and Republic and is now selling their jeans in their department stores and online. Um, the once $200 jeans are now worth more than $80. Or now worth it, they're only worth $80 now. That's sad. I fucking hate Kohl's. I wouldn't touch Kohl's with a 10-foot pole. I love Kohl's. No. The, the people that shop at Kohl's are not people that should be wearing Rock and Republics. They're not going to respect the brand. Oh, excuse me. Now your now your $200 jeans are actually worth what they're probably cost to make. Actually, they're probably worth still more than they cost to make, considering they all have holes in the crotch. My jeans do have holes in the crotch. Which you probably cut there. I did not. <laughs> yeah. You're just mad because all the jeans you have now are now worth nothing. Exactly. <laughs> that's I'm, a really that's, that's really the only reason why he's mad because now he can't sell his jeans for two hundred dollars. No, now they're worth nothing. Now everyone in fucking New Mexico is going to be walking around in rock and rock and Republic jeans, and they're going to think they're awesome. Well, now well I have, have news. To I, no, I have news for you. You're not cool. Rock and Republics are so out. In other news, Kmart has launched a new ad campaign in hopes of getting people into their stores. Um, they have a giant billboard in Hollywood right now that says money can't buy style. That statement is false I, with a capital F. <laughs> I beg to differ. I think money can buy style. I would even say money can buy happiness. Um, so there's a reason why Kmarts are non-existent in Los Angeles and why no one is shopping at your stores. Also, people who shop at Kmart don't have style. Exactly. It's like people who shop at Kohl's, where you can now Kmart buy Kmart is way worse than Kohl's. Don't even compare the two. I've never been to Kmart either, <laughs> so I don't really know. I mean, I only have had been once, but it's okay. <laughs> it was worse than Walmart. Obviously, our demographic for the show is women and gay men <laughs> ages 18 to 34 that are at least of the middle bracket income. I just, I just think that's a dumb ad, and whoever, the sad thing is whoever came up with that probably got like five million dollars for it. And, and they probably spent job. it all on Rock and Republics so that now they can only buy at Kmart, or Kohl's. Get your shit straight. Okay. Um, Bobby Brown showed up to Whitney Houston's funeral with an entourage of nine, allegedly. Um, he was told they could not enter, so he chose to leave. Who the fuck shows up to a funeral with an entourage? Bobby! <laughs> <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> Crack is rad. I just think that's, that's rude and disrespectful. Bobby Brown, you're on my shit list. Okay, in <laughs> other news, the San Diego police had a two-hour standoff with a car on Interstate 8. When they finally decided to make their move on the alleged target, they found the car to be empty. Um, San Diego PD, what were you thinking? I'm sorry, but... Don't we have, like, technology that can, like, I don't know, like, heat sensors to tell whether or not somebody is in a vehicle or not? Like, I'm sorry, could, isn't there something they could have done to, like, sort of... I just have no words because it's so dumb. <laughs> I mean, like, and they, their, their statement said, like, this was, you know, procedure, this is how we do everything, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm like, well, there was no one in the car. So, a 22-year-old entrepreneur 
um, received a free drink coupon from Starbucks of any size drink of his choice and any additional add-ons. He ordered a Trenta Java Chip Frappuccino plus 16 shots of espresso, a shot of soy milk, a drop of caramel flavoring, a scoop of banana puree, another scoop of strawberry puree, a few vanilla beans, a dash of machado powder, some protein powder, and a caramel and mocha drizzle to cap it all off. It totaled in $23 and is the most expensive Starbucks drink to date. Well, I just mean, like, I don't understand what... Why would you do that? Well, first That's of all, dumb. can we talk about more of the fact that he got six, 16 extra shots of espresso? Can you imagine his shit after that? <laughs> <laughs> I just mean, like, I get annoyed with people at Starbucks, and there's the girl who's standing in front of you, and you think she's going to get, like, one cup of coffee, and she goes, and she's like, Hi, I'd like a non-fat, triple mocha, double soy, skinny latte on ice with extra whipped cream. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, that's going to take forever. I don't know, if he calls himself an entrepreneur, you're obviously going to be going far in life if you spend four hours at a fucking Starbucks making a drink that probably tastes like shit. But I guess you got it for free. Alright, well this week's Bitch of the Week is New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Nice job. Um, we applaud you. Um, what he did is he once again showed um, how American politicians make decisions based on their own agenda. Um, Christie vetoed a bill this week to legalize gay marriage, um, which we think was done because he wants to get the presidential, vice presidential bid for the election in this upcoming year. Um, so we're annoyed at you because the House and Senate passed the bill. So yeah. you're, Fuck you. You are our bitch of the week.